consider having three points. Let's call them vertices. If we add a fourth point, we can calculate the total distance from it to the vertices. The Fermat point is one such that this distance is as small as possible. We can ignore the distance number for now. Just remember that this fourth point, the Fermat point, should always be at the spot where the total distance is minimized. Angles with an angle larger than 120 degrees, the Fermat point is simply at that vertex, using only two of the sides of the triangle for the total distance. However, for triangles with smaller angles, an intriguing property of the Fermat point is revealed. The lines to it from the vertices always meet at 120 degree angles. Why is that? Consider a similar problem, except that the central point is connected to the others by springs. We can see the springs as a way of measuring the energy of the system. For example, here, we would see the potential energy that this green spring would have. The spring always tries to push the point so that the energy is minimized. Considering the potential for all three springs, it becomes a lot less clear what the minimum energy is. However, we can still use the fact that the springs push in the direction that decreases the energy. Drawing in the forces for each spring, their combined force will always point in the direction that decreases the total energy. Following this force, you reach the minimum of the potential, precisely when the total force adds up to zero. Let's try to use that approach to see if it helps with the original problem. Instead of minimizing the energy derived from springs, we are now minimizing the total distance as before. This also changes the nature of the forces we are working with. Let's change the perspective to get a better look. Unlike springs, where the behavior is more complicated, here distances increase linearly. All of our forces are equal. The question now is, where should our point be so that all of these equal forces balance out and add up to zero? You can easily check that, given three equal forces in a plane, the only way to balance them is by putting them at a 120 degree angle to each other. Conversely, we can check that keeping the angles at 120 degrees makes the total force zero, which means that the distance is indeed minimized. Let's retrace our steps one more time. The format point, which minimizes the total distance to the other vertices, mysteriously keeps 120 degree angles. Working with the distances directly to explain that effect is challenging. So instead, we can work with these virtual forces, where they add up to zero only if the potential, or in this case, the distance, is minimized. Since the forces end up all being equal, we conclude that the angles they form when adding up to zero must be 120 degrees.